idea is to start a centre for mathematical sciences in Africa, which would really focus on developing capacity in the African continent to make Africa less dependent on the outside world and less beholden to the outside world. The idea is very um, broad. It's to recruit the brightest students we can find from all over the continent and bring them for a nine-month uh, residential course where they will live with some of the best teachers in the world. And it'll be a hothouse, a lot of sharing of experiences across different cultural backgrounds and uh, similar problems uh, because the African continent has terrible problems. And the only way those problems are going to be fixed is if young Africans are going to fix them. We live in a globalized world which is highly competitive and increasingly becoming borderless. Science and technology is critical to the economic growth and to the upliftment of quality of life of all South Africans, as well as the African continent. C'est cela qui vraiment m'intéresse beaucoup. Vivre avec des gens de plusieurs cultures, ajouter ma culture à la leur, euh, bénéficier, profiter de leur, de leur expérience, de leur mode de vie. C'est cela. Pour les prochains neuf mois, la, crainte, la plus grande crainte, c'est que je serai loin de ma famille. Je ne saurai pas suivre leur c'est à dire je ne saurais pas m'occuper m'occuper d'eux et s'ils connaissent certains problèmes s'ils connaissent des problèmes réguliers de la vie je ne serais pas leur prêter mes forces comme c'est mon devoir my first reaction was that it's an initiative which is actually long overdue there are a number of problems which uh, are related to training people in mathematics at postgraduate level in particular. In many institutions in Africa, postgraduate training in mathematics usually involves a small number of students. So sometimes we argue, is it really best use of manpower to have to train three to five, in fact, quite often, two to four students. So one of the things which we had been thinking about for quite some time was, is it possible to have a regional training program in which you get a number of students from different universities and different countries together so that you train many people together? Probably the most important thing is it will set up a, a network of commun communication. The students who are here will be quite happy, we hope, to email us and contact us in years to come. So it's almost like a, a web spreading across the world from Africa. I have a Bachelor of Science with Education degree. I will be attending AIMS. My understanding of the course is that it covers quite a lot, you know, from physics to medicine, in particular epidemiology and also mathematical modeling. If we now have the resource persons with that kind of knowledge, I think it would actually help the country in solving its problems. The situation is desperate in Africa now. Um, the solutions must be found to the continent's problems and it's only Africans who can find them and 
So we hope that even though we only have 30 or 40 or 50 students, w those students will be so inspired by living together with other African students, with some of the brightest academics from around the world teaching them. They will acquire global contacts, a global awareness, uh, an awareness of all the future possibilities of technology um, that they can then start to think creatively. How can we apply this <clears throat> to the problems faced by our own countries? Africa is not a lost continent. The good news is no news. The bad news is big news. My name is Timothy Kuria and I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in Mathematics and I'm going to Ames. From the prospectors of the Institute, it's more based on the practical applications. I've been in the private sector. I've been an accountant. I've been aware of what the private sector actually re requires. It's amazing how happy you are to see something that you've developed work out practically. My goals and the Institute's goals are similar in that I feel I'm committed to making a change in Africa I feel that I'm responsible for the same task and uh, we'll pull through just fine. There is this tremendous international interest uh, in South Africa at this point in time. Uh, the fact that you can get such eminent scientists as Sir Martin Rees, uh, Michael Berry, uh, Jim Gates, Wayne Gates, and others uh, here on a single morning. I, I, I doubt that I've been to a conference in South Africa at which this was possible. To my knowledge, this is the first indigenous to the continent effort to establish this kind of a program. And I think that may make an enormous difference. If you look at the financial uh, requirements for educating Africans, and you just do some very simple calculations, you rapidly conclude that the, for the amount of money that it takes to send a single African student to the, to the UK or to Europe or to the US, you can educate on the order of five African students here in South Africa, which is a modern society. And so that means that eventually, if ordinary market forces are at work, South Africa will be the destination for educating the entire continent. And AIMS, we believe, is going to be part of that effort.